we were twelve with him. In his gospel, Mark said this about us. And he ordained twelve, that they should be with him, and that he may send them forth to preach, and to have power to heal sicknesses, and to cast out devils. And Simon he surnamed Peter, and James the son of Zebedee, and John the brother of James. And he surnamed them Bonerges, which is the sons of thunder, and Andrew and Philip and Bartholomew, and Matthew and Thomas, and James the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, and Simon the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, which also betrayed him. We adorn the Basilica of the Oratory today because its directors wanted the prayers of believers in the sanctuary of St. Joseph to be presided over by the first leaders of universal Christianity established by Jesus. We stand five meters tall and were carved out of oak which was then delicately polychromed. We were created by the French master sculptor Henri Charlier between 1957 and 1959 when he was an old man. We did not all cross the ocean at the same time. Six of us arrived in Montreal in May of 1958. We had to wait an entire year before we saw our six other companions in May of 1959. We were designed to be placed against the four great pillars that support the dome at about 13 meters from the floor. Our proportions were exaggerated so that even from below our wooden bodies would be clearly visible. Then, one day, we were moved and it is now from deep within the transepts that we silently observe you, the faithful, pilgrims and visitors, with our wooden eyes. So that we would be easily recognizable, the artist sculpted some of us with symbols. He carved Andrew, holding the instrument of his torture in his hands, a cross in the form of an X. At John's feet, the artist sculpted an eagle, symbolizing the theologian's keen mind. James is represented with but no, I've already disturbed the silence of this place enough with all these explanations. It's your turn to come closer and observe for yourself. <laughs>